Hello and welcome. I'm Austin Kowarczyk, uh, composer and arranger, and uh, bringing you some news today. We'll call it news, I think. Today, earlier, this all started when I was, as I am unfortunately prone to do, browsing Twitter. Um, I'm aware. Terrible habit. Trying to kick it. But, you know, I figured today maybe something good would come out of it. And I was wrong. I was incredibly wrong. And now I'm just kind of confused and grossed out. So I figured I'd break my little YouTube hiatus that's been going on here to make some of you grossed, mad, or upset too. Fair warning, I'm on the tail end of a little cold, so I'm going to sound a bit weird today. But let's get into it. So there I am, scrolling my Twitter timeline, and I have the absolute misfortune to see this tweet. It was, quote, retweeted by someone else. Not going to put that one out there, but... Here's the tweet. Caption here is, Hello world, I'm Anna Indiana, and I'm an AI singer-songwriter. Here's my first song, Betrayed by This Town. Everything from the key, tempo, chord progression, melody, notes, rhythm, lyrics, and my image and singing is, aud is auto-generated using AI. I hope you like it. Heart emoji. Several immediate concerns, quest questions here. Um... Number one, what? Number two, why? Um, you know, I'm not I'm not a fan of this concept at all, so I'm having a kind of kind of having a hard time understanding why in the world someone would choose to do this. You know, I have a hard time understanding tech bros at the best of the time, but this one is this one is killing me. You know, and I'm I'm already a little dubious by the idea. Okay, yeah, an AI could pick a key, an AI could pick a tempo. Chord progression, too, I'm not... But melody notes, I guess I'm not familiar with how well AIs can write melodies. Um, rhythm, lyrics, image and singing, those are all auto-generated, okay. How does that... That's not what... That's not all that goes into a song. There's more that goes into a song. You gotta take into concept the form here, like this song. And I've listened to it, and it uses a pretty similar... Pretty similar verse-chorus format to a lot of pop music. How would an AI know how to do that? Uh, especially because you didn't say the form was generated by an AI. So kind of wondering about that one. Um, but after my immediate revulsion to this, you know, image tweet, I thought to myself, okay, take a step back. I got to at least hear this, you know. Got to make my decisions and my judgments after I hear what's going on here. What a choice that was. That was... Something else, honestly. I was ready to just watch a few seconds of this, you know, decide, yeah, this is gross. Clown on it to some friends when I went to get dinner with them. Uh, you know, the usual thing that people my age do when they see something stupid that they don't like. Just for some context, I'll, I'll give you all a quick, quick taste of how this sounds. At my favorite cafe, sipping my tea, it's Saturday. Thinking about all he's done to everyone. So yeah, no, not not a fan of this. I'm not enjoying this at all. This there's this horrifying uncanny valley effect in every aspect of this. You know, not just the the very obvious whatever the hell is going on with the face here. I'm not. That one just hurts. To... Oh. You know, the very obviously edited singing stuff. Singing stuff. But, you know, the part I've been stuck on the most, it's been like an hour now, is the mic stand. It's just driving me nuts. Like, that's haunting. I, I'm genuinely terrified of that. So yeah, I, I don't like this. I don't think it's a good idea. But it seems that the creator of this is doing a little... The creator of this little project is doing things a teensy bit wrong. So I went out as I was looking up on all this, trying to find out some more information. I scrolled down on the first YouTube video, the video of the first song. And um, the top comment here on this video 
poses an interesting point, you know, and it says, The vocals in this video are provided by Synthesizer 5 Natalie. However, it is against the Synthesizer 5 Terms of Service to utilize the voice database using a name that is not that of the database. Claiming that Anna is a singer while using Natalie is misleading and violates this rule. Now, small spoiler alert, someone did say, or the creator of this project did say that it's not Natalie's voice database being used. However, a uh, response to this comment goes, you know, people have speculated that this is the uh, Eleanor Forte standard light passed through an RVC. I don't know what that means, but it is a recording. It, here it goes on to say, the recording interface, the recording of the Synth 5 interface has blue pitch lines, which are only present when using a standard voice bank like Eleanor. Natalie is an AI voice bank, and thus these blue lines do not show when using her. Moreover, certain inflections in the voice sound very similar to Eleanor Forte's standard light. However, yes, using Eleanor still goes against Dreamtonic's terms of service. This AI singer is about to go down, and it has that, that one sniffy face emoji. You know, the one that's mad. So, I wanted, to, I wanted to do some searching real quick. And I managed to pull up a, an honestly very user-friendly summary of the Dreamtonic Synthesizer 5 voice database and user license agreement, or EULA for short, which you can see on their website and see here, um, does not allow for the use of the voice under a different name than the original name for the voice database. And I can confirm, on the website at least, there are no databases called Anna Indiana. While I can't prove this is a violation, I think it seems like it might be. Uh, but I'm not a lawyer, that's not a legal interpretation or anything, it's just my opinion, making that very clear. So, unluckily for us, our dear friend here, Anna Indiana, released a second song just a few hours before I stumbled onto all of this. And, spoiler warning, it is not any better than the first. And in fact, the microphone stand confuses me even more now, so on that metric, it's even worse. But in the description of this video, the creator behind the project admits to using Synthesizer 5 in the process of making these videos. Or what, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to call them videos. So, you know, not going to say anything else about that part of it. But speaking of this description, um, the goal here, as it says, is to write music with no humans involved in the process. As a musician myself, I find this concept insulting. But on a different level, like, how is that supposed to work? Like, right now, according to your video, the code you show in it, you have to specify at least the number of measures in the time signature, and you're prompting the lyrics using a specific set of prompts. I failed to, I, I kind of failed to see how you'd be able to automate that. And it hit on a bigger question. Why, why would you want to automate that? Why do you want to do this in the first place? I genuinely don't understand where the interest in this is coming from. And a lot of people I saw on Twitter and face or Twitter and YouTube kind of agree with me. I'll include some, uh, some of my favorite comments and tweets at the end of this video. But uh, then I clicked on the profiles of those people who were responding positively to this. You know, people with the encouragement and looking forward to see where this goes. And I just saw a bunch of crypto bros and a bunch of, like, tech guys talking about this. So, um, yeah. Kind of confirmed exactly who I was expecting was supporting this. You know, I just, this feels pretty soulless and gross. And I don't support it or advocate for it. You know, just want to get that out there. Figured I'd tell all you guys, uh kind of get ahead of this. I didn't see any other coverage of this. Just some quote retweets. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this kind of divisive concept. If you've got a better justification for this than just, yeah, we thought we could do it, so we figured we might as well. Uh, because I honestly don't see any creative value in any of this. And um, tell me what you think of this little change of content. It's a bit different than my average... Here's a book that I'm going to talk about, which I have several books I should be doing that for. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to be back soon with some more content as the semester winds down, some new stuff I'm going to try out. 
But I look forward to seeing you then. So, yeah. Thanks. See you next time. Hello again, everyone. Um, so, mid-editing of this, uh, some buddies of mine were bothering me, trying to get them to play, play games with me. So I was like, all right, uh, no, editing. But what if I milk you guys for content? So I did that. So here's some live reaction footage of my buddies TJ and Marcus, who uh, briefly appeared in my Mohiga video. Uh, so, yeah, thanks, guys. Hope you like it. Okay. I'm going to start this. And I want you to give me your live reactions as it happens, okay? Okay. Okay. Hello, world. My name is Anna Indiana, and I'm oh so my God. excited to That's share my news. She's so ugly. Oh, my God. Betrayed by this town. As an Hold AI singer-songwriter, everything from the key... Tempo, this is like worse than that like melody that like Jane AI melody, thing they and made and that the like was it Twitter that posted it? I don't remember. I hope you like it. Alright, here we go. It already is awful. Sitting at my favorite cafe, sipping my tea, it's Saturday, thinking about all he's done to everyone. This town is full of broken dreams, shattered hopes and silent screams. Somebody please help me. The trade by this town. Honestly, that's probably a good thing. I just the mic stand is driving me nuts. Yeah, the way she's like not even talking into it. What I don't like is it's just taking there's no human to it, which I know is like the whole bit, but that's not what music is. And it does, it's not a bit. I don't think this is a bit. Well, I meant like it's the point. It's yeah. It's all computer generated. But look at the look at the mic stand. What what is going on there? I don't know, there's like six different contractions to hold the microphone. The cable doesn't even go into where the XLR is supposed to be. Actually, yep, I was just about to say, I think there's two XLRs on it. Is this song like almost over? <laughs> I don't know. It feels very repetitive to listen to. I mean, it's a simple loop. I, yeah, but there's like, like, where's the flavor, you know? For AI, she hasn't really done nothing crazy. Uh, do we want to see the second one? Not really. The, so this one came out like four days ago. And the other one came out today, like five hours ago. Oh, shit. We've lost like, it all. Yearly live uh, reaction right here. here we, are, we are, we are, oh, oh, Deep oh, Stone Crypt. Oh, actual good music. Darn deep, it. oh, actual, actual good music. 